Hi, I'm Francie White. I'm a Feldenkrais practitioner, a somatic experiencing practitioner in Eugene, Oregon. And today I have uh, pelvic circles number nine. And as I've said, um, pelvic circles to me are just one of the best movements that you could do. You could do it every day in the morning, the afternoon. Um, and it, it helps calm the nervous system. It helps regulate the nervous system. So if you're upset, it can calm you down. If you're crashed, it can uh, perk you up. And also it just, it, it helps connect um, all of these muscle groups in our body so that we can move easier and without pain. So here is pelvic circles number nine. And as always, start off doing um, the pelvic tilt, the cardinal directions, and you can do it. Once you get used to doing this a lot, just do it a few times. And also you can check out pelvic tilt which is my five minute fell day on that, and then also lifting the hip, which is the other cardinal direction. So press on one foot and lift the hip and alternate. So doing this at the beginning allows you, your body to kind of get used to what muscle groups are gonna be called for, so you don't hurt yourself if you go directly into the pelvic circles. So then do some circles. And again, we're looking for the places that are square. We're looking for the places that aren't smooth. They have little hiccups. And then slow down through them and just try and work them through. And never, never judge. And always stay underneath any level of pain or discomfort. And so just do it smaller and smaller and smaller, even if it means you're not moving, because the nervous system can't tell the difference. So change directions. And just do that a few times. And now, in this wrinkle, I want you to do a self hug. So take one arm and put it on the opposite shoulder and vice versa. And so you're hugging your, your chest. And this is gonna restrict the movement of your chest. So now when you do the pelvic circles, notice how now your chest cannot respond to this movement. And in doing this, I'm actually even finding a little place where I'm getting a little stab. So I found some little place that it's not moving so well when I restrict the movement of my chest and change directions. And just notice what has to change. Notice what's harder, what makes, what seems like it takes more effort. And in the Feldenkrais method, paradoxically, when something is harder, it's taking a lot of effort, our solution is to put less effort into it. So if this feels hard, do less. We I say less is more, small is big, and slow is fast. And change directions. And notice how this even restricts your breathing. And the breathing, your breathing can help a movement or hinder it. So now what happens then when we release the chest and now the chest can move and it can help with the movement. It can free up the movement of the pelvis. But now the nervous system has learned more because it had to work around the restriction in the chest. And change directions. And just notice any of those places that have little hiccups or maybe you have a little bit of pain and slow down. You can even um, just kind of rock through it really, really slowly. And you can use your feet to help if you need to. And then when you're done, just let it all go and notice yourself on the floor. And then just come up to sitting and uh, stop for a second and get your bearings, your orientation. And I hope that this is helping you. I love pelvic circles. It's one of the things I'm, I'm doing specifically to help with a, a problem that I'm having in my lower spine right now, and which is why I'm trying to come up with all these different variations. So 
Anyway, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like this video. And I also have a website, integratedselfeugene.com. I hope you have a great day.